So, in November 1999, GT Interactive, which previously purchased Humongous Entertainment, was purchased by Infogrames. Infogrames continued to make Humongous Entertainment games under the name Atari, which they also purchased, um, and released a Putt-Putt game, a Pajama Sam game, and a Freddy Fish game. Everyone, I'm Charlie, and we are go here playing a Freddy Fish game made by people who don't care about the franchise. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to Judy Cube. <laughs> We're playing, we are playing the, uh, the, okay. We are playing the Freddy Fish game of my childhood and Charlie's nightmares. <laughs> yeah, well, okay, so to be fair, um, I grew only grew up with Pajama Sam, but at some point when I was an adult, I decided to stream all of the Humongous Entertainment games um, as a connoisseur of point-and-click adventure games. Uh, right. So pe most people remember this from uh, nostalgia, but my opinions of it are correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look please, how the background changed. Explain. Wait, no, look how yeah. the background changed. And then look how blurry the background is. They didn't make a higher yeah. resolution version. Are they not all like this? No, they're not. No. <laughs> no, the yeah, other ones when they go into cutscenes, they don't use the uh, the game backgrounds. They make That is a beautiful attraction. That's actually that's really lazy. What the heck? Why is this like worse? Cuz Infogrames doesn't actually care cuz they think kids will play whatever and they did apparently for according to you. You played this. <laughs> Garbage. I did, and, and I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I actually I actually played this on a on a previous gaming channel of mine uh, with my sister But uh, it's time to do it again, but an entirely different light Yeah, so the rest of the Freddy Fish games the ones from Five six years earlier the ones from Windows 95 instead of Windows 98 don't do this with the backgrounds <laughs> Oh my god. Wow That's crazy Let's give, the kids Let's give the kids a chance. Hmm. Oh my god. And then what's this blue okay, so gradient? So, so just like, just explain. I, I just want you to go through all of the reasons why you hate this game right off the bat, and then as we play, we will discover that those reasons are true. All right, so the puzzle up uh, one, you begin talking to Grandma Grouper, which no game has done since the first game, implying that this game is probably written by people who played a few seconds of the first game and are like, yeah, cool, Freddy Fish, got it, whatever, they're fish. Because Grandma Grouper is not a major character in the franchise. Two, um, the puzzles get ridiculously simpler. In the first game, there's a puzzle, we'll see it later. In the first game, there's a puzzle where you have to, you see a dog blocking your path, so you have to go and find a bone. Uh, yeah, and that you have to realize that the bone is supposed to be given to the dogfish here There's a toy a, a Couple pixels away from the dogfish that you pick up put in your inventory throw to the exact spot that it was before And all of the puzzles are like that people will tell you where to go and what you need to do and sure Freddy fish is games for children, but the other ones I had to use my brain a little bit. I had to be like, huh? This is a puzzle. This is a it, Adventure game. This is not an adventure game. This is holding your hand across the sh Okay, I'm gonna calm down. <laughs> no, I also no, no, like perfect. that all the NPCs are directly in a fucking line. I understand, you know, it's a it's a carnival boardwalk, but no, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no my god, I love this so much. <laughs> Oh, look, oh, another NPC! Just lined up for you to talk to! <laughs> okay, imagine if Skyrim worked like that. Imagine if oh all my... of the possible quest people were just standing in a we're literal fucking a single file line. And there I am. Wait. <laughs> That's you? Pull up a picture of me. Well, hello. My name's Kid. No, yeah, that's Charlie. There he is. <laughs> oh, oh, I need to go to the mayor. I think I, I think I passed him. I love yeah. how, oh my god, oh my god, you're absolutely correct. I was able to tell what I was supposed to do literally without even hearing the dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the probably because I played this game a lot. They're standing in a line! <laughs> they're standing in a line! Oh, there little... he is. Oh, you know what? It's totally because I freaking played this game so many times. Uh, I'm just gonna... Hi there. 
I know I have to go and get this dude's uh, fin pick and then bring it back. Oh, but I do have to listen to what he says. So hold on. I'm Clyde. The mayor's all yours as soon as I'm done with his makeover. It's just that I'm missing. And then blurry backgrounds. Ah, come on. You talked over the one part that I was supposed to hear. Hold on. Back in my barber shop. I'm so absent minded these days. Hold on. I need, I, I need like, because you need a specific number of fin pick. Hold on. When can we talk with the mayor? As soon as you bring me the number seven fin pick, I Number seven. Okay. Feel free okay, to talk so, now. But he literally tells you what item you need to get. Yeah, yeah, he does. He does number say, seven I fin need pick. It's right, it's right back at my barbershop. Here are the keys also so yeah, that you can he, just walk in, right in, in. In any other Freddy Fish game, they'll say, I will need something that can accomplish this task. If you can find <laughs> me something of that sort... <laughs> I Here it's, you need exact, <laughs> you need to go to this exact point on the map and use, ex I'm going to let you know which one you need to use. I also love this, how the lock, I mean, okay. I don't know if, if <laughs> Okay, so the, right. the Freddy Fish games are not for babies. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is a junior adventure, but by the time you play a video game, you should know your shapes apart from each other. <laughs> Whoopee! The uh, <laughs> the infogrames one that's the worst offender of being for babies is um, Pep's birthday surprise, but it's also not as bad because that one's just like, hey babies, have a fun time. Not like, I don't know, you're a kid. Just here's a fucking game. I don't care. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a difference between hey p hey babies have a good time and then you're a kid. I don't fucking care. Okay, so um, yeah, um, yeah. Pep's birthday surprise feels like a Dora the Explorer game. This feels like a tutorial on how to play adventure games that does not end. <laughs> <laughs> the entire game is a tutorial. It kind of is. I mean, yeah. There is nowhere other than a tutorial that all of the quest characters should be standing in a literal lock <laughs> and telling you where you need to go and what item to get. I love this so much. Oh, wait, Charlie. Yeah, what's up? Are you still there? Oh, I, you were really silent for a second. I was like, are you still there? Yeah, I was just, I was just collecting myself. <laughs> Making me so happy right now. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. This should be the right fin pick, Clyde. <laughs> the number seven You're fin so pick. <laughs> in the exact location you told me it would be, which is part <laughs> of the line that you're all standing in. <laughs> it's it's so funny because I personally I have so much nostalgia for this game, so like freaking I don't care about any of this. Well, I mean I do care, like obviously. I can acknowledge that this is not very well done in comparison to like what has been done before, but it's just it's just funny because I am not I am not as hurt about it because this was the game that I personally loved like for what it was. But then tomorrow, Charlie man. like played the other ones. And as also a kid. to me and this is just a how I've played mostly only adventure games. So this is like an example of how not to make one for me. This is yeah. like as an adventure game fan, this this game is like a punch to the stomach. Like yeah, yeah. It will allow us into Coral Cove Park so we can solve the mystery of this terrifying sea monster. And get this dumb game over with! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, this dumb game over with! <laughs> oh, my God. You're going to need to look at the first game to see what the differences are. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. I have to. Like, because, because, uh, well, okay. Because after this, if people enjoy this series, then we already said we're going to be playing, uh, uh, if, if you guys enjoy this series, uh, let us know so that we can freaking decide whether or not we're going to continue. Because if you do, our plan is to, uh, play this game Thanks, all the way through, uh, have Charlie suffer, then play a good Pajama Sam game, and then have Charlie just be really happy Good and then play the worst pajama Good sam game the infogrames pajama sam game <laughs> which do, is it worse than this um this is the worst hmm i'm not like a huge freddy fish fan this is a terrible adventure game but freddy fish right. doesn't stand for anything to me uh, right, pajama right. sam is written by my favorite uh video game writer 
Um, it's the only game he's written by himself. He's best known for co-writing with Tim Schafer. Uh, right. So Pajama Sam means something to me, so that feels like an insult. <laughs> this is more of just a general bad game. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so like this one, objectively this, worse. This one is objectively worse, but Pajama Sam, uh, what is it like the fourth one? Yeah. Is uh, is emotionally worse. Yeah. The inf cool. That's what we're going for. But remember what I said. Oh my God. Sea monster is huge. Huge. And it's, and it's evil. evil. I remember this. No fear. <laughs> no! <laughs> no fear, Luther. <laughs> also, wow, we have managed to keep up like consistent conversation. I was thinking we were gonna do a freaking the thing that I mentioned, like 40 minutes of recording and then cut it down to like 15, but like I don't know. We might just freaking post this raw play it straight yeah. through. Yeah. Because no, I have, I can I can commentate through a humongous game the entire time while the characters yeah. are talking. <laughs> yeah. Freddy, I'm talking twice at the same time. This is confusing oh. to your ears. It is Luther. Stop talking to me. But Freddy, <laughs> that's the whole point of the game and game commentary. We have to talk to each other. <laughs> Stop trying to get rich off of YouTube, Luther. I'll be rich. Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Freddy, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play. <laughs> hey, Luther! I'm gonna blow up your house with TNT! <laughs> Today, we are playing TNT! Minecraft Hunger Games. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, you know what? We're gonna get this sample analyzed next episode. <sighs> We are off to just like a fantastic start. Okay, you see what I'm saying here about it holding your hand? Yeah. <laughs> the other fr I know you're not used to the Freddy Fish franchise and you could just say, well, it's a kid's game. The other ones treat kids like they're people with brains. Absolutely, absolutely, which I'm all for. Um, it's and like then the, the, the difference between Humongous and Infogrames is the difference between um, a Disney movie and a direct-to-video sequel. Um, right, right, right. Where a humongous game um, made by Humongous is, you know, okay, kids, uh, we're going to try to come up with something really compelling for you. A uh, humongous game made by Infogrames is, don't worry, parents, we'll keep them occupied. <laughs> Fuck Infogrames! Oh my god! I... <laughs> Next time on Judy Cube, everybody.